Patrickson from Javelin Technologies, and today I just want to go through setting up a drawing template and how to link it to a sheet format file. If you've never done it before, it can be a bit confusing because it is different from a part and assembly template. Uh, so we'll just go through the steps just so you have a, a, a grasp of how it all works. So first what I'm going to do is just go to New, and you can see these are just the default tutorial templates. I'm just going to pick up a drawing template and right away it asks for a sheet format file. The reason is uh, this template doesn't have a sheet format linked in the first sheet and if you don't have a sheet format on the first sheet uh, in any of the sheets what's going to happen is as soon as you open it up it's going to ask you to pick a sheet format file. What you want to do instead is uh, you can actually link it so the sheet format file is automatically in the first sheet so you don't have to select it each time. So we'll choose the A landscape and what you would do now is go ahead and customize your sheet format, which the sheet format is the title block, the border, all this information. And to access that, you right-click anywhere on the sheet, choose Edit Sheet Format, and there you can get in. You can add extra lines, add logos, add notes, link it to properties, things like that. Once you're done customizing this, you return to the sheet, click in the confirmation corner, and then you need to save out this, uh, this new leaf formatted uh, sheet format and to do that we would go to file save sheet format and a sheet format file is SLD DRT and I'd recommend against putting it in the default location just in case you go and move computers or uninstall it's going to be difficult to find this location and uh, you may accidentally uninstall it so instead I would put it somewhere like my documents and put it in a folder like SolidWorks templates and you can save whatever the file name should be. I'll call it Javelin A Landscape and save. Next you want to link this sheet to that sheet format file. So every time I hit new what's going to do it's going to pick up the link and use that same sheet format each time. To do that right click anywhere on the sheet, go to properties, and right down here we can actually hit browse and we can browse to that documents folder where we saved it and there's our sheet format file there. So now that link is in place what I would do next is change any uh, properties you want for your drawing template file just like a part in assembly you go under options you go under document properties and all of these settings will be saved in the drawing template itself. So what happens is the drawing template stores all those document properties as well as the link to the sheet format that we have so when I hit a new sheet it'll bring up that link that we have. So with that all customized I would go to file, save as, and for the save as type I would choose a drawing template file which is DRW, DRW DOT. Go back to your documents find that folder. You may want to create a subfolder to split up between drawing templates and sheet format files. But for the sake of this one, we'll just hit save. And there you go. Now, because I've saved them in custom locations, I'd highly recommend going into your options, going to file locations, and for your document templates, be sure to add that custom location. So you can go down to documents and pick up that SolidWorks templates folder so you'll be able to find it again. Also, just for the sake of not having to browse as much, if you go down to sheet formats, you can also add that folder path as well. So that way it'll be quick to find later on as well. And with all that completed, we've now customized. So when I go to new, you can see there's my SolidWorks templates with my new drawing, and I probably should have saved it as a different name but there you go and when I hit new sheet it'll automatically bring up the sheet format file that was specified in my properties right here